welcome everybody to Wine with Marco. I'm your host. Marco with the pop there. Oh, I like the wine. Hey, go blue, go blue, go blue. Marco's here. Welcome everybody. What is today? Mr. Puppet, what is today? It's today, Friday, yay day. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. It's Friday night. We're going to party. Montel Jordan for you. Okay, this is Friday, yay day. I will take off Mr. Puppet because I can't taste the wine. Today, we are going to taste a very, very delightful Pinot Noir. Yeah, we haven't done one yet. Typically not a Pinot guy. You know, I don't like real, let me move this a little bit this way. I don't like real light wines, but if you find the right ones, some of them are a little darker, a little more richer, and that is what I enjoy. So we will talk about Rodney Strong 2016 Russian River Pinot Noir from Sonoma County. That's a good little wine there. Put it right over here. Uh, you probably want a little bit of teacher S glasses about the uh, winery. Rodney Strong was, uh, you know, he was a pioneer uh, of Sonoma County's modern wine industry. Uh, he acknowledged vision, visionary tactics uh, and, and things to do and potential in the Sonoma County soils. Uh, the climate he felt was good for world-class wines. He was a successful dancer before retiring and turning his second love to winemaking. Uh, Rodney Strong was established uh, in Sonoma County's 13 bonded winery in 1959. So think about that. It was the only 13th bonded winery in 1959. Crazy stuff, but you know what? You're going to find this stuff. I mean, we'll get into the wine, we'll taste it, but I'll tell you about price and their wines are not expensive. You're going to find that good value, uh, 15 to 20 sweet spot. Now, some of their higher-end wines, which they do have a little bit of a higher-end portfolio, you know, you're going to pay a little bit more of a price. But for, for a good value wine, we'll get into the tasting and we'll find out. So let's go and give this a little swirly swirl. Look at the color. It is light but not super light. You get some Pinots that are so light, I mean, you can just see your whole entire hand. Now, that might be for some people. Have at it. Me, moi, no, no, no. I like it a little bigger. I like it a little more full bodied. All right, we're gonna go into the legs. And the legs tell us what? How much alcohol, what do we got here? We got 14.5. I think I mentioned this before. These wine producers, these guys that make these labels, these bottles, they got to put the alcohol volume in one spot. Sometimes you'll find it up in this corner. It's over here. It's over here. It's over here. How you find the thing? Ah, oh, okay, gods. All right, so we're 14.5, so that means there is quite a bit for a Pinot Noir. Let's give this a little schnaz it. We're gonna come in and go schnaz it. Lots of cherry. Um, a little bit of raspberry, but you know what's predominant? Cranberry. Lots of cranberry. Think of uh, Thanksgiving, that, that, that cranberry sauce. Yeah. 
Can you a little like a uh, nutmeg component and definitely some cocoa. All right, I'm excited to taste this. Let's taste. Mmm. Okay, so very crunchy, this wine. Very crunchy. And this is what uh, McDonald's cherry pie. McDonald's cherry pie. I'm telling you. You get, you get like a, a cherry pie, cherry tart kind of thing uh, with Baking spice, definitely get the baking spice. That meets uh, chocolate, but it's really creamy, really, really rich. And Paul Bunyan has entered the house, but he's only got one little pinky finger in the door. That's all, just one little pinky finger. It's not predominant, just a little bit of oak. There's a nice, nice bright acidity to this. Wow. You know what? I got this bad boy on one of my wine venture sales. So it was between that 15, 20, like I said. So for 15, in between 15 and 20, find it. 2016 vintage Russian Rivers. You can't go wrong with Russian River Pinot Noirs. I, I love them. Um, pairing with this, pork tenderloin and anything shrooms baby mushrooms mushrooms galore with this would be great absolutely great i'm giving you guys a little a bit of do i hope that everyone's staying safe and healthy during this pandemic hope everyone has a fantastic 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 weekend and you drink lots and lots of vino lots of vino yeah, that's right. It's Vino Weekend. And uh, we'll be on to Monday. Monday with Marco. We're going to have that nice little uh, value play there. Not that this wasn't a value play. I'll see if I can get it a little more extreme. A little more. And one other thing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wineries with all my relationships all over the years. Come on, we need some advertisement. We, we got to get some help here. I want to get my great fans, my great viewers, the people that have been watching me, that enjoy me, that like to laugh. A little song, song. Knock, knock. Who's there? Strippers. Strippers who? Strippers with all my relationships all over the years. Come on, you too. Come to the party. All right. Yeah, yeah you might get tired of that, but... I got to work something out here. We got to make this channel grow. We got to we gotta expand here at Wine at Marco. So when you see the link, click uh, subscribe. Subscribe to me, please. If you enjoy me, subscribe to me. We'll have some fun together. As we end every video, all the time. Yes, I know. It is sexy. You've seen this one before, but this is, this is pretty much... This is like Ferrari, Bugatti. Yeah, the other ones are, are, are Corvettes and, and, and Mercedes. This is, yeah. And every video, we say, a salut. The chinda. Ya salut.